today we are discussing the uh, one more concept of cooling tower chemicals what are the types of cooling tower chemicals is there uh, how it will use and how we can control the water parameters how we can control the water parameters if you not control what's happen what are the problems will happening in condenser uh, evaporator in tubes one by one we are discussing first if you go for the what are the types of cooling tower chemicals is there what are the types of chemicals what are the types of chemicals first if you go for the 2040 second one is the acid third one is the 2715 fourth one is the evp fifth one is the hypo sixth one is the 606 seventh one is the 608 these are all the chemicals these chemicals how it will use this 2040 chemical 3 liters per week per week 3 liters per week this acid 20 liters per week Two seven one five and EVP. Five liters per week. These two chemicals alternatively we are using means two seven one five is the one week, EVP is the one week. Alternatively week by week we are using these two chemicals. After if you go for the hypo, hypo also five liters, five liters per week. After the six zero six and six zero eight chemicals, same five liters per week. These two chemicals also alternately one one week six zero six and one more week six zero eight. Alternately, uh, we are changing these two chemicals. These two chemicals. These chemicals we are using in these chemicals we are mixing. With manual or auto, with the help of motor, with the help of pumps, auto pumps, auto dosing pumps, with the help of auto dosing pumps, we are adding these chemicals into cooling tower. These these chemicals we are adding into cooling towers. This cooling tower water is circulated. The chemicals is completely mixing with water using these chemicals. we can control that water parameters what are the parameters you can control one by one we are discussing water parameters water parameters in makeup makeup tank in city circulation circulation water circulation water How we can one by one parameters we are discussing. pH value how should I maintain in makeup six to eight value in circulating water in circulating water six to eight point five. After TDS TDS how much should maintain in makeup two fifty ppm in circulation का fifteen hundred ppm. Less than or equal to fifteen. Here also less than or equal to two fifty ppm. Hardness. Hardness. Less than or equal to fifty ppm. Here less than or equal to five hundred ppm. The hardness you should maintain these values. After that, chlorine. After that, chlorine. Less than fifty ppm. Less than five hundred ppm. After the total alkalinity, total alkalinity, total alkalinity, it should maintain less than hundred. It should maintain less than five hundred. 
total alkalinity after you should maintain iron less than 1 ppm here also less than 1 ppm yes, silicon less than 50 ppm less than 200 ppm these water parameters should I maintain this standard there is a problem is less these values you should not maintain these parameters should not maintain these standard values you will face a problem in condenser and evaporator car some problems will happen